What's up, nerd and nerdettes? It's time for a superpower short. This superpower is a splinter off the branch of ice manipulation. So sit down and get set for snow manipulation. Users of this wintertime ability can create, shape, and manipulate snow. Precipitation in the form of crystalline flakes of frozen water. Although in some cases, lower temperatures can cause air molecules to shift from a gaseous form to a solid form, skipping the liquid form altogether, which will cause the newly formed snow to fall from the sky. Because snow is comprised of small ice particles, it's classified as a granular material with an open and soft structure. It will remain so unless subjected to external pressure. Snowflakes themselves come in a variety of sizes and shapes. And the types that end up fa falling in the form of a ball due to melting and freezing are referred to in extreme cases as hail and ice pellets. I've already done videos of ice and cold manipulation, so I shan't recount those glorious exploits. The main difference between this ability and ice, to keep it simple, is simply the amount of spacing between the ice particles, aka the amount of air between them. There's no room for the snowflakes to melt and stick together, which makes it a far less sturdy form of ice initially. But then again, this isn't really true either, because if you've ever been hit by a snowball, I can tell you, ain't nothing soft about it. It hurts. A lot. And what's even worse than that is apparently it's nearly impossible to recreate snow the way that it's recreated in nature. Or is it the way that it's created in nature? Anyway, I guess that has something to do with the amount of space of air between the ice crystals too? I don't know, maybe we can't gauge it right. Hmm, matter of fact, does snow even have any viable use? Like what do we use snow for? Besides like building killer snowmen. I know what we use ice for, heck even cold but actual snow maybe that's why we can't recreate it the way nature gives it to us it serves no purpose well except one main purpose in particular can't forget about that to help you guys hit the like and subscribe button how is it going to do this i have absolutely zero no idea but one should never underestimate the influence of the endless majestic white fields of Okay, let's not finish that sentence. If you'd like more information on this power's symbolic meaning, then check out my video on its parent power, ice manipulation, along with its familiar power, cold manipulation. You'll get to hear my self-analysis of what the power means in both world culture and popular culture. The link is in the description. Now with the power to manipulate snow comes the natural ability to attack with, defend with, and control snow with snow attacks. The user can create their own source of snow completely separate from outside sources with snow generation. Well, what if you want to be as mischievous as Jack Frost and end up tossing snowballs, dropping hail, or trapping people in their homes? Well, all that's possible with snow solidification. And following that last ability up, if you can harden your snow, you should be able to give it shape, both complex and non-complex with frigiokinetic constructs. And because snow is a form of precipitation, if you create enough of it and get a good breeze going, it should allow you to change the surrounding weather with blizzard creation, which at its worst can affect the surrounding snow, adding additional mass and pressure to what already exists, causing a combination of newly formed ice and snow to crush any in its path with avalanche creation and there you have it snow manipulation in a nutshell if it sounds like i left some things out it's because this ability is very similar to ice <laughs> like extremely similar and can be argued as being superior in some cases and inferior in others me i'd lean towards the latter option because i can't think of any scenario where a snow user and ice user would meet and the ice user wouldn't automatically become the dominant so, if you want more applications, check out my video on ice manipulation because you'll be able to accomplish the same things just with a visual or stylistic difference. Heck, even try out water manipulation. Snow seems even more passive than water, especially if you consider how conditional it is, but it's pretty well agreed that snow is a form of rainfall. Just frozen. Ish. Well, most forms of snow. So, it can be used like water. The links are in the description. But all in all, users of this power still need to look out for more than their respective counterparts. Heat and fire are a big no-no. But if you keep a cool head and live in the mountains 
and don't come outside, you should be okay. <laughs>